Hello and welcome to the Next Generation Science Standards, how to read the NGSS. Specifically today we're going to be talking about how to bundle, how to take the performance expectations and turn them into bundles of learning material. So if you can open up your browsers from your laptops and go to the website that's on your handout that's titled nextgenscience.org. This is the NGSS website that we're going to be using today to discuss how to bundle the performance expectations. Now if you look over to your right hand side, you will see Explore the NGSS. Please click on the Explore the NGSS words. You will see that you can choose which way you'd like to view the standards. For today, we're going to be using the Arranged by Topics version. Please click on this. If you scroll down, here is where you can choose your performance expectations based on both grade and topic area. Please choose grade 5 and Earth's Materials and Systems. Click Search. And once you've done this, if you scroll down, you will notice that you have now populated the system with the Earth Systems Choice that's here in orange. Please click on this orange topic link. Here is the grade 5 set of performance expectations for Earth's Materials and Systems. We'll be using this from page 28 in the NGSS. This will be our first example where we're going to use this to discuss what is a bundle, why should we bundle, and how do we bundle. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about what is a bundle. A bundle can be a single performance expectation or a grouping of performance expectations based upon which performance expectations fit together cognitively for the most cogent learning progression while keeping in mind what's best for all students regarding content amount and delivery. There are some key differences in format between the K-5 through and GSS sheets and the 6-12. through The K-5 through sheets have the year the performance expectations are taught predetermined. These are called the grade level performance expectations, hence you will see the number 5 in front of each one of the codes above. Even though these performance expectations appear to be grouped together, this does not imply that they should all be tackled at once in one bundle. 6th through 12th grade courses, however, have a course 1, 2, and 3 possibility analogous to the three years the students should be progressing through these performance expectations. They can move through the performance expectations around between course 1, 2, or 3, depending on where they feel the most coherent fit is for the performance expectation. But for today's example, we're going to be dealing with the 5th grade NGSS performance expectations that are arranged by grade level for the Earth systems. Next question, why should we bundle? Well, your bundle is the ultimate guide to the lesson planning. It's the skeleton list that constitutes which performance expectations are taught together. The bundle is based on your teacher experience with con sincere consideration for the flow of the learning progression path for all students. All right, so now let's talk about how do we bundle. Well, if we revisit the structure of the NGSS standards, specifically looking at the relationship between the numerically arranged performance expectations, which are highlighted here in yellow with the red arrows at the top of the page, and the disciplinary core ideas highlighted with the arrows at the bottom of the page. Notice that at the top of the NGSS sheet, it's arranged by topic, and there are several performance expectations. They are listed numerically with an assessment boundary in red that's meant to draw the line for what the students are going to be tested on. This does not mean that the performance expectations must be taught together or even in that order. Look at the underneath disciplinary core ideas and notice which performance expectations are in parentheses with those correlated to the DCIs. This tells you which performance expectation the DCI is addressing in greater detail. Sometimes it appears as though you can easily separate the performance expectation into its own bundle due to the fact that the three PEs are in different parentheses in the three different DCIs below in this example, but this is not always the case. There still must be discussion and coherent rationales used to determine the best arrangement of the performance expectations. Now, I'd like to show you two different ways a teacher or groups of teachers might organize these three Earth System performance expectations. This next slide shows only one bundle for all three performance expectations. This is one option, but if you're using your page 30 in front of you or looking at your screen, you'll notice that the PEs in the parentheses under the DCIs and the degree of explanation in the DCI for each of the performance expectations, you can see that the amount of content is pretty vast and you might determine that it should be further broken down into three different bundles. This slide shows each performance expectation in its own bundle, creating three bundles for the topic of the Earth systems.
The decision to separate each performance expectation into three separate bundles was what a group of teachers decided to do in a setting much like this one. Now look at this next example, another NGSS page, page 28 of the fifth grade NGSS Properties of Matter. There are four performance expectations in this topic. Looking down, you will notice in the DCIs and the cross-counting concepts and the nature of science, you will have the corresponding performance expectations in parentheses. This implies that there are multiple areas of concentration and skill for these performance expectations. Determining how to bundle these expectations will take more care and dialogue about coherent progressions, content volume, and best practices.